September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Hey, we're number one this time. Hey, Here we are, we're back. Excuse me, I needed a drink. Doing this makes me thirsty, especially if I'm talking for like an hour. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the old man voice for the judge, that was a one-time thing. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Faye! The prosecution is ready, your honor. Tucker, you're gonna be reading Edgeworth a lot. You can use your normal voice as well. No. <laughs> the defense is ready, your honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me in an instant. So many sex jokes. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. <gasps> witness! The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. Except the wrong! I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may, if we may call our first witness, Your Honor, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Why are you calling Gumshoe? <coughs> is that is that not his name? It is. No, I'm just saying, why is he calling Gumshoe? Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm the detective in charge of this homi of homicides down at the precinct, sir! Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir! Let me use this floor mat above the uh, office to explain, sir! The body was found in this window here, sir! And the cause of death, sir! Oh wait, sh that was your lie. <laughs> Just go ahead and read it. it was and the cause, cause of death, sir? <laughs> sure wasn't it, but alright. Loss of, d of blood due to being struck by a blood object, sir! So loss of blood, so she was alive for a short time. <laughs> I guess, uh, but, but it said instant. I'm it okay did say instantly. There goes my cap. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts this statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Floor plans added to the court record. <laughs> Now, detective. Excuse me. Excuse me while I drink. Uh, yes, sir! You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir! I had evidence she- I have hard evidence she did it, sir! Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this quote-unquote hard evidence. Maya Fay's arrest in red. <laughs> as soon as the phone call came, came, <laughs> came in, I rushed to the scene, sir. There were two people already there, sir. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, sir, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright, sir. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, sir. Why, we had a witness ac account describing her, sir! The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder, sir! Hmm. The very moment, you say? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Y yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. To be honest, I couldn't either. Whoosh. Smack. SMACK! Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? My sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony. 
she would bluff and press the witness on every d- <laughs> So that's what we gotta do. <laughs> okay. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. <laughs> I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a shot. Something the matter? No, your honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Maya Phaser S in red. Who did you say you got a phone call from? Hey pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call is from a, com a customer. Gatewater Hotel. Right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay, I pressed. Not sure it did much though. Right, please continue. Two people already there. <laughs> <coughs> Not gonna. Should I press that? No. The defendant. No, no, yeah, press that. No, press, press that. Press that. Okay. Oh. Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it it took between you receiving the call and the arrival at the scene of the, of the crime? <laughs> right. I'd say it was about three minutes. Jeez, that's a small town. That's pretty fast. My motto this month yeah. is, is quick response. That's how I got there before the killer got away. <laughs> Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yes, sir! The defendant is my fate, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix, right. Should you press that? I don't think I should. I mean, it's true, though. I immediately arrested Mr. Okay, uh, yeah, press that, press that. Why is that? What's your reason? Oh, music stopped! I did great! Oh! Oh! Ha! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm dancing! Because we had a witness account describing her. Hold on just one second. Y yeah? I heard, if I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence. She did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I say that? Me? <laughs> I heard you say it. You did say it. You said <laughs> it. <laughs> exactly what about this suspicious woman in the pink? Claims was hard evidence. W what? Miss Belle Delphine isn't suspicious, and she sure is in pink, pal. Um. I mean. It's like me every day at school. I'm green. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any sol more solid proof other than her claims detected? Um, I guess pressing can have it its, adva its advantages. Yes! Ah! Sorry, I I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There is something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, detective. Let's hear your testimony again. So we're getting somewhere, that's good. Hard evidence yeah, in red. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on the piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was clear, written clearly in blood. The lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. But she died instantly. There's no way. How do you like that? That's my quote yeah, that, unquote, that, 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 yeah. hard evidence. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? <laughs> uh, uh, I know, I'm, I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. 
Very well. The defense may begin its cross examination. Cool, the 8-bit drummer is live on Twitch. Hard <laughs> evidence in red. Okay, so I already know what I'm pressing. I, I just gotta present things. After this. Yeah. And then we... There's the autopsy report! Oh, yeah! Objection! Objection. <laughs> I'm right. Detective Gumshoe. There is one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim Maya F Mia Faye wrote this note. Delicious. That she was accusing the defendants of Maya Faye. That's really what you're saying. W what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it! Who else could've? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is only- is the only person who- who absolutely could not have written it! This is a report from your department. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But no butting your way out of this one, detective. That was what I would say. <laughs> order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately would not have would not have had time to write anything down. Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? W when? Uh, I think it was the it was day, the day after. after the murder. Yeah. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... <laughs> that autopsy report is outdated, your honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. So we were right. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, yeah. We were right. Yeah, yeah, because her body was warm and then became cold. Yeah, but remember, it takes a body uh, 10 to 20 minutes to go full. Shut cold. up! Okay. <laughs> But there's a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. So we were right after all! Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Why didn't anyone else call 911? There could have been an ambulance and then none of this would have been happening! She could have gotten the proper treatment, probably, and then everything would be okay. Probably. We wouldn't <laughs> be even here for murder, we would just be here for assault. <laughs> yeah. I received these results this morning. In battery. No way! Your honor, look at how big my hand is. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> it's a clap. <laughs> Just... I, I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you had something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. S something you want to say? You're a sham. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. I'm a sham! <laughs> Alright, but for real, what do you want to go with? I'd say, uh, the detective's a sham. <laughs> the detective got you your sham. Damn. How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? I, th I thought. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Uh. I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. You're at fault, detective. 
This isn't going to look good on your out on your evaluation next month. What? what? Uh, ah. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. That rhymed. Uh, understood. The court accepts this into evidence. The autopsy report updated in the court record. Died from a blunt. Op from a blunt object, may have lived for a few minutes after being hit. If you want to get technical, eight. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes? Darn, this isn't good. Hang on, it's lagging. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. She's the Hegeo before Hegeos ever existed. Let them witness Miss, A Miss April May, a.k.a. Belle Delphine, take this stand. <laughs> exactly what part of her is... Innocent. No, tell me, I want to know! <laughs> Witness, your name, please. Also, can we turn off this awful oh, jank? Oh my god! That was horrible! <laughs> yeah, that's how it happens. <laughs> no, did you? you s I'm, I'm reading the text. I know, I know, I saw it, I saw it. Okay, saw. good, good. I'm gonna put a censor there. April May, at your service. Ugh. Wink. <laughs> well, I went to the beat of the song. And this trucking <laughs> should not require any reaction from the crowd. <laughs> Witness, you will refrain fr from wink winking. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, your honor. This is not good. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man and the ladies in the back in the courtroom. Except Edgeworth. Edgeworth is gay. <laughs> Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. Gee! I checked it. I checked in right after lunch. Then this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. law offices? Mm hmm. That's right, big boy. This is when you know we're going to hell. <laughs> Please <laughs> testify to the court about what you saw. Witness account in red. I'm sorry, I forgot to read. It was like 9 o'clock at night when I looked out the window, you know. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked by the patriarchy. We cannot stand for this. This is what Ned Strikes look like. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. She's contributing to the patriarchy. Feminist now. <laughs> the bad kind, not the good kind. And then the woman, like, dodged to to one side and ran away! But that girl, she got up to her and she hit her! Then the woman with long hair, she kind of slumped! The end, that's all I saw. Every little. Oh god! Every little bitsy witsy wink! I hate that. I, hate I think that. I think you should press the last things that she said. I'm going to. If I don't end up getting another testimony. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. Well, Your Honor. Oh, my bad. I read your line. I see. It's a remarkably solid testimony. Uh, that's oh, not you called solid. That? Uh, well, uh, someone about uh, just about every man in that room is solid, if you know what I'm saying. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. W wait, Your Honor! Y yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness testimony was just now was just quite 
Firm! Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. How cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the right? Yes, of course, we're tired of... Question is that? Of course I'm cross-examining the witness. It's obvious. Only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. I'm doing it. Just have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, but however, it's pointless. Where's my fries? Witness account. Alright. We're just gonna do this game again. Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like... Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee! What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily? I sort of, you know... Just stop! Uh, I you. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. You know, I have a feeling. I have a bad feeling. Oh, uh, yeah, keep pressing. Because that, that ending thing where she's just like, Ah, that's all! That's all! Be like... Yeah, but I couldn't get a strike because the judge and, you know, they're being soft. Because bias. Okay, but press the last thing that she said. I'm going to right after this. Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time at night. I... Woo! Ah, come on. Mr. Wright, you will not <laughs> I will not have you badgering my witness. B badgering <laughs> You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. It's essential to the j uh I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop yeah, him! Yeah, stop him! Yeah. Poor girl! Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor, poor girl! What about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? I don't know, that's not it. How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... Gee! First of all, she had a girly physique. And secondly, she was small. Who else could it be but her? Just a point. <laughs> You're right. I question your testimony. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd question your testimony. Oh, music stopped. Was that actually right? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, we did good? Yeah. I, okay. Hold on a minute, that testimony stinks! What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet. You're lying! You Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Uh. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this! Uh, uh, Clueless about this! I mean, I know who did it. It was Red Ro oh! Okay. If you really had a witness, my client, Mia Fey, or not, excuse me, Maya Fey, I can't read, you would have noticed her, her clothes before noticing her physique. Stop! <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fascists, but her hairdo looks Far from normal to me. However, the witness, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but, still, we don't know if they, if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her, and so did the de de detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss Belle Delphine May? 
Oh, God. Oh, ew. What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think at all the shriveling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. What is omit? Oh, like to my leave anything God. out. Huh? Also, you. Omit means to leave anything out. Okay. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Please! Yeah. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. We're getting somewhere. What is the count in red? I did see everything! I did! The victim, the woman dodged the first attack and ran to the right! Then the girl in the, the hippie clothes ran after her! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. I, what, what, when does this take place? The 1960s? It takes place in the 2000s. I know, I'm kidding. And then she hit her with the weapon! I saw it! I did! That. the, the clock! Um. It, the kind of statue we clock. The thinker! I think. I think. Well, does that. does the accuracy of my report not startle you? Tee! <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Begin the cross examination. When does it count? Okay, I did say everything I did. Do you wanna do you just wanna press everything like you did uh, uh like hang on, wait. I think there was something like damning. What do you mean by damning? Like, there was something that she- here, just uh, keep going. Is that it? That claw? How do- how does she know if it's a claw? How does she know it's a claw? You're right. Press Q. Yeah. Probably- I mean, it's probably because of the papers. A- uh, a clock? Oh, music stopped! You might have something! Exactly! How did she know it was a claw? Damn because it. remember, because- no, no, remember, at the beginning of the testimony, they called it a statue. Oh, you're right. Yeah, didn't this yeah. Come up, didn't this come up in another testimony recently? But, well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. But he does <laughs> win them all because he's Phoenix Wright. And I'm an ace attorney. <laughs> well, we almost had it. Okay, but, but we're getting somewhere. We're getting yeah, somewhere. we're getting somewhere. Uh... Was that your only damning thing? Uh, huh. Go again. Over here. Okay. Yeah. Is that right, as in your right, as you looked from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife? And again? Oh, whoa! <laughs> whoa! Well, how, why would you say that? It. Uh, I think because she's because she's like eating at the time or something. I don't know. I don't know. Dreaming, I don't know. I guess. Right. It was my right hand. Right. <laughs> Satisfied, Mr. Wright? Please continue. I just realized you haven't even had to read in a, like a long time. That Clark. Some kind of statue. Uh, wait. Maybe uh, present some. What, what do you have to present again? The thinker. Oh my god! What? Why didn't we think of that? Read. I don't know if you can read this the description because of how laggy it is on Discord. No, I can. You can? Yeah. But it's actually a clock. Yeah, we already knew that. Oh! We were pressing, we didn't even bother presenting! Yeah, yeah. Miss May. What you just- what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you- you'd like that, wouldn't you, Mr. La Naughty Lord? Oh, oh my ew, god. Ew, ew. You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock, but there's no way of knowing it like that by just by looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Another person in much the same position as you recently called this clock called this a clock too and he was found guilty of murder 
Order, order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? <laughs> Earth! Oh my god, Edgeward! Uh -huh. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all the that's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concern. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. I object! This is bull! But questions are all I have, Your Honor! And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with questions with these questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may con continue to question the witness. Woo! That was close. If you stop, if you stop me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? <laughs> what happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? I okay, great. What? That's... Because I heard it. Yes, I heard it. I heard it say the time. But you oh my heard God. it laugh because it was stuffed with paper. There's no clockworks in it anymore. It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you've been so you've been to the fan co law office. N no, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. Hee-hee. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> the law offices of Fay and Co. where the where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, no, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because it couldn't, it couldn't have, have wrong. wrong. Your Honor, members of the court. It's inconceivable that the clock in question rang because it's- It's empty! No, it's not empty. It has- Yeah, it is! Work. No, it's not. It's broken because there's no clockwork. No, but that would be it's empty. Because there's no- there's no clockwork in it. The clock is- Yeah, the see clockwork. Alex? Okay, great. Well, thankfully, I trusted your gut, not my gut. How could you possibly- Take a- just take a look at- right now! Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It's as the defense says. The clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright! Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It's, as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have run. Therefore, th this witness is a big, fat... Liar. But fat. Well, Miss May. <laughs> oh boy. Tisk tisk. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mister Wright. <sighs> he knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that's exactly what happened, Your Honor. But that doesn't make sense. Why yeah, would they that didn't the happen. Clock? Yeah. Why? Why would they do that after their murder? That yeah. doesn't make any sense. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove the clockwork was removed? Can, can we? Uh, I th think. Ho oh, ho! Impossible, of course. I have. Pr of course, we do. What? what Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now, I'll show you the proof you liked so much. 
the evidence that proves the when the clockwork empty was removed was uh, on the phone. The phone. Yeah, it's on the phone. The yeah, phone. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take a look at this. It's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a girly phone. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. This isn't my phone. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of the conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order! The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Rex, Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Ugh. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. <laughs> Let's hear the conversation! Beep! In red. Yeah, in red. You're reading! So you just want me to hold on to the thing- oh no, wait. That so you just want me to hold on to the thinker then for you then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame! I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. September, September 5th. 5th. Now I'll read it in my epic voice. <laughs> September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Ow! Beep and red. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Oh! Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss Belle Delphine, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well. Well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, it was... What store did I... Was it... Was that at again? I go to so many! Oops! Oh. I forgot! Oh, Where are you? The witness had seen it before. That would make sense. But it doesn't make it sense doesn't because it was because made by Larry Bray! The witness claimed she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts this piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will that will prove the witness had not seen it because it was made by Larry Butts. Now I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, made by Larry Butts. It's simple. This clock wasn't. This clock was never in any store ever. What? what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the whole world. The one that isn't here is in police custody. <laughs> Impossible! Everything is sold in stores! It's me. I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, excuse is not on sale today. Ah! He keeps oh! coming! He keeps coming! <laughs> oh, oh! Jesus Christ, woman! Who wants to oh, smash I don't like man? That. Who wants to smash now? Cause I'd pass. I would have passed already, but you know. What's it to you, porcupine head? Wait, I need to come up with like a demonic voice. The stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Jesus, that honestly kind of hurt me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of herself. This is a court of law, and the lit and the witness will remain calm. Silly me! Did I um like lose it? I guess I did. Tee hee! Wink. Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Oh wait, wrong voice. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me how. I'm lightheaded. Sorry. Tell me how you. How did you know the weapon was a clock? Hmm. Oh dear. 
Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how the how I see the truth of the matter. The separate way made knew this victim was a was a clock because uh, she didn't. You no, know, I think it'd be you. You heard about it. Yeah. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard about. She had heard that it was a clock. She heard. That is correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I could show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me the evidence proving the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Wiretap. Oh, you're right. Thank you, David. Thank you. Have a look at this! Ah, oh, th th that's. Uh -huh. I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, or Belle Delphine, as we'll all like to call you. You were ta you were tapping the victim of Miss Mia Fey's phone, weren't? Were you? Oh! Oh! Hang on, it's lagging. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that is. Objection of her all! It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing! Did the victim ever say the weapon was a clock on the phone? We just proved yes. it! Yes! We just proved it on all those gods! How stupid can these people get Phoenix? I swear to god! We did! Can you prove that? I think not! What? We did! Oh yeah? I think I can! Because we just did! I think it's simple! What? You have Uno! <laughs> Here's my proof! The proof the victim- I don't have one! I don't have two! <laughs> it would have to be the phone, right? Yeah. Prevent the defendant's cell phone! Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim! Beep and red, go! Duck man, take one! Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while! Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. I'm excited! Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. <laughs> it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it oh, tells you the time. I am reveling in excitement. <laughs> ah! Okay. Miss Belle Delphine, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I. Your Honor, this is ridiculous! Your Honor, look at the witness's face! Does this- does she seem amused to you? The defendant demands an answer! Or the defense demands an answer- whatever, same thing! <laughs> witness answered the question, did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up! All of you! Sh all of you! What gives you the right to- You- You lawyer! I don't look insulted at all. It's not fair! All of you- <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like that line. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that line. Oh, you're ganging up on me like that! Like, yes! Oh! So I'm the bad girl! <laughs>
Mm. Mm. This is great. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, 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 ah! God, I hate Mr. Boots. That did it. The court seen the real Miss April and they now. They've seen the real Belle Delphine. Now, you I'm, did it, didn't you? No. She did no. it. Uh uh. It's yeah, it's that. No, no, let's go down the route where we arrest her. <laughs> is there a route for that? I'm pretty sure this is, I'm pretty sure there is. Let's no, do it. But she didn't. Well you did it. it, didn't you? No, okay, there's fine. no Why the way wire we tap? couldn't have. There's no fine. way she could Why the wiretap? Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Spat everywhere. Oh my god. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? This isn't a tippity tapping or isn't tippity tapping uh, irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly whatever what I told her wants her to say. Miss Bell Delphine, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? I need to scratch my head. Can you prove you had oh, nothing? Oh, name! My computer is cold now. Really? Yeah. It's usually hot. Ha! I like to to see her pull this off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? She's pulling a jojo. Damn, mm. she's good. Oh. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I will, and I can! Mm. You can't be serious. No way! Way, I say, way! Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> Okay, so the killing happened around 9 at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold! If you don't like it, if, if you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and you have regular cold coffee. Ice, ice coffee. Ice, ice, baby. Do, 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 ding, dong. I think I'm making, ice, ice. I think I'm making this single, making this up. Ask the bellboy. Wink. Ah, uh, he's going with his ergo. Ergo, the witness was not at the scene at the. T oh my God. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene of the time of the murder. Then why? Wait, then why did she do, do, do call? Okay. Why is she on the stand? <laughs> she wouldn't be here. So where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's cell phone. <laughs> However, that is a separate crime, with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. Look at my hand. Look at how big it is. <laughs> I wear like a she saw the <laughs> She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder with her smaller hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just gonna let her walk away. There's no way I can win unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. She's an accomplice! She has to be! That's why I think we should have gone down the path where we actually she was the murderer. Ah, uh, you know, that wouldn't make sense. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Well, we've gotten I mean, call the bellboy. Call yeah, the bellboy. Yeah, we've gotten everything out of Belle Delphine. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk, sunk in quite low enough already. Stop with the sex jokes. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? He owed me money in high school. I don't like him. 
<laughs> because I because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. <laughs> However, if you agree to one condition, I consent to calling this witness. Tell him to bring me my five dollars. <laughs> condition. If April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bell of boy, then you will recognize that Miss April May is not the killer. Because she's Thus, not. She is innocent. And thereby, you must also look at my big hand. <laughs> I can see it. It's huge. Put it away. And accept the verdict of gloves. guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bell boy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? What do you think? I think we I have accept to. the condition. Yeah, we have accept to. it. All right, I have got nothing to lose except vote for well. <sighs> understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool! You fell right into my trap card. Uh oh. Good thing I have this Uno Reverse card up my sleeve. It's it's somewhere. Ah, it's in my wrong. It's in my other tux. Very well. <laughs> the court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. They just let him bring his tray in. Look, he's got cookies, tea, and crumpets. <laughs> yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. Is that tea? That tea set looks rather heavy. So without further ado, put it down, man. <laughs> the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I'll have you know, I was the strongest bellboy in my class. <laughs> Miss May's room service in red. I went to bellboy high school, you know. We we had... Yeah, I went to high school with Edgeworth. <laughs> we, we, Edgeworth was gonna be a bellboy. <laughs> Miss May's room service in red. Ooh, it's gone faster now. You I am the head bellboy at- I know, I am. I am the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely at the re they requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. Oh, it's over. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was in this, Miss May was involved with the murder now, my will be finished. So we're gonna press every little detail and see how this goes. Wait, I think I know. You th okay. Well, let's build okay. the beads, boy! What it's, happened? It's not, it's not that one. Uh, hang on. What can you present? Hang on, present. Hey, um, press that, press that. This? No, go. No, no, no. Uh, that. Press this. Just for nice coffee. Yeah, press that. Nine o'clock in the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. Exactly! So, so, present the thing. Present. No, yeah. Yeah, present. 
the autopsy? And, uh, wait, hang on. Go, move. What else is there? Um, uh, I think, yeah, I think the autopsy. I might be. Didn't it say something uh, about mine? This evidence clearly reveals that the, the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor, were screwed. How exactly are that evidence and the statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Uh, there's, there's gonna be something. Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think your the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that won't be any points with the judge. We just gotta strike. Uh, so after. After. And after the iced coffee. Press that. Precisely nine, then. Precisely. Oh, wait, you're lying. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. I'm sorry, I just read a lot of characters. Sometimes I just go and assume that I automatically read. <laughs> How can you be so sure? Hang on, it's lagging. Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy! <laughs> I'd like iced coffee at exactly 9. I wonder if she got that with whipped cream. Alex, I'm gonna. Really <laughs> no, I'm serious. For real. Something like that, sir. <laughs> that went all. That went along perfectly with what I said. I know, Alex. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine, sir. Why would she be so particular <sighs> about the time? Uh, hang on, go back. Maybe... Uh, Let's try eight. Let's try this. Let's press this. See what happens. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked M Miss May in personally, sir. Oh, we were supposed to press this! I get it, 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 I get it. Because no, remember, be because remember, we think that someone else is staying with her, okay? Yeah. At least I think that, yeah. <laughs> Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but Ew. I also heard her voice. Disgusting. And then I saw them, and I... Ahem, <laughs> er, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Oh, frick. Screensaver. The point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes. What then? Wait, we're just gonna skip over to them apart? What? Hold on. Hold on. This doesn't make sense. Okay, don't need it. Why would I need to press that? So I'm just gonna go through and press the uh, last thing. Are you sure it was Miss April May herself, aka Belle Delphine? Ab, wait, you're lying. Absolutely, Sorry. sir. Absolutely. As in, oh well. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir. She, she, the guest, sir, favored me with the, an embracer, sir. Why is there someone so much sexual tension in the, within the first two episodes. Doesn't make sense, man. I just want to be a lawyer. Embracer? What is that? Is that, what is that? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. 
But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my primitive friends. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss Delphine was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. I is that it? Tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. I can't believe we're just letting, uh, you know, you know, him saying check them, them. We just let them go. Why would you let that go in any court of law? This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now. If you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest. Ah, uh, that's what I would do. But wait! Please wait! Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Lights, loyalists. I understand. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Hey, Alex, someone called for me. Did they? They did. Dang. Uh, what's your options? Can you, like, save here? Uh, let's do this. What? Real quick. Uh, well, mute yourself. I'll do this on my own real quick. Okay. Okay. This is really it. Now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check-in, 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 check-in! Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked Miss Del- When you checked in- Miss Delphine. I'll read Tuckman. Oh, all right, very well, sir. My first thought was she was beautiful. A beautiful person. She was just my type of girl. And so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 Excuse me. Exactly what was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir. But even I'd have a little chance. Even I'd have little chance with her lover there. But what did he say? What did you say? Uh um the rather quiet. Bellboy, tell us the truth now! Did Miss May check in with another person red? I object! That was unobjectionable! What? <laughs> Thank you! Objection over road, the witness will answer the question. Uh yes, I see. Why did you not mention this this in your testimony? He did! Y'all just what forgot it. Well, sir, uh you didn't ask. Oh, I did! Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh yes, quite indeed. It was the er uh, good bar sitter there, uh, Mr. Edgeworth. Who? He asked me to not mention it if I was, if I wasn't, uh, specify, specifically asked, sir. Fuck you, fool. Ah, 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 ah. Hey! Uh, I'm hey, back. We did it! Sorry, there was pizza. Well, I understand. Ah, I've done it. I have won. Almost. We got a couple of days left. Miss April May checked into into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then when you brought them room service, 
You didn't see that man in the room! That's right, sir. <laughs> Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved with... Who may have been the murderer? I can't read! In the light of this new fact, I hold that... I hold that impossible to judge the defendant! Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edward? And who, Mr. Wright, is this other person? Simple! It was... Obviously. Yeah, the man with Miss May. <laughs> the man who checked in with Miss May! Or Delphine! Whatever y'all want to call her! <laughs> Oof! I'll just play I'm in you. Roblox now. Your Honor! This has been previously revealed that Miss April May, aka Bell Delphine, was trapping the thing that phone, yet Miss Delphine, aka April May herself, has an alibi at the time of the murder! However, that does not clear the man that was with her! The Bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder! My my, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the, per the, the presence of the other man from this court? Roblox definitely. I'm in Roblox again! <laughs> Upstart amateur! The, these accusations are ludicrous! Enough! The court acknowledges the, defense ar the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into the matter fully. Am I understood? Hang on. <laughs> Yes. <gasps> yes, Your Honor. That is all for today for the trial of, of Miss Maya Fay. The court is adjourned. I did it! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Yay, we win! September 7th, 224 p.m. Court, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Again, I'm eating. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! Yeah, I got one strike! Really? <laughs> I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. Then <laughs> oh, again, my, my sister was a really big fan of you. I wonder what she did here. Uh, that That's other not of your business, pretty... do not worry about that! <laughs> <laughs> that other attorney was pretty cool, too. <laughs> huh? <laughs> that face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. Why is she looking at his lips? It sent shivers up my spine and somewhere else. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> if you say so. Hang on. <laughs> so, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Uh, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see! But I got a great lead on in today's trial. A lead? Like in Minecraft? No! The man that was missed with Faye, he's the key. And the culprit. Oh, I get it! See, I was asleep the whole time. This is stupid. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Yes. I do. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I'm counting on you! Everyone is. I asked for a full record of Miss April May's testimony. I 
thought it might come into handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only yeah. one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. May testimony. Miss April May, aka Belle Delphine's testimony, has been added to the court record. I don't know how much, how much good this one will do me. Oh, it gets everything. <laughs> At all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. I doesn't belong in that detention center. It's up to me to set her free. To be continued, and that's the end of another banger episode of Phoenix, right? Be sure to go to the subreddit, let things happen on over there, memes and all polls, all the polls, all the polls. Should probably warn you all over there that this is going to be a long, that these episodes are going to be tediously long, but hey, they're entertaining. You know, we got oh. Tuck Man here for the ride this time, so it's fun. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh if you if you're wondering, I'm recording all of this before Payday 2 Part 2 has uploaded, so I have to go edit that and I have to go to the bathroom before we start on this next recording. If we do a next recording. It might be cast uh. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Join the Reddit. I'll probably leave a link in the in the description below. Uh, like and subscribe it helps us both out. We make banger content. I feel like I'm turning into J Station, so I'ma shut up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.